goes into today's message, okay? So hi guys, my name is Heather Hook. If you do not already know me, I am the founder and editor-in-chief of True Beauty Movement. That is TRU without the E Beauty Movement. It is a holistic wellness and beauty blog all about redefining beauty and empowering girls and women of all ages in and out. So my spiel, my tagline is all about be balanced, be true, be proud to be you, and that is be balanced physically, mentally, socially, spiritually, and emotionally, be true to your authentic self, and be proud to be you. So my blog, my YouTube channel, everything I teach you guys is all about inner and outer beauty and how to really be your best self and manifest your best life. And what I mean by that is helping you to have different tips and tricks and tutorials um, for physical beauty like makeup, non-toxic makeup tutorials, um, non-toxic hair, fashion style all those different things. I'm here pregnant, six months pregnant, wearing black to, right, slimming. Uh, people will be like, you look so little. You look so little because you're, you know, pregnant. I'm like, it's the black. <laughs> it's, it's a facade. Um, you know, mentally, so the power of positive affirmations, mantras, um, self-confidence tips, things like that, because to be a holistic beauty, it's not just, you know, it's being more than skin deep, right? And really having that, that um, girl boss mentality in your life, whether you have a business or not, and owning it and being confident in who you are. Um, socially, right? So connecting with other true beauties and feeling truly nourished so socially and that you really have your tribe over here. Join us at True Beauty Movement. Join our tribe. Spiritually, however you define it, I'm a certified yoga teacher in addition to being a professional makeup artist. So I love to teach people manifestation tips, um, meditation, uh, of course, yoga tutorials virtually on my blog and all of that fun stuff. And then emotionally, the power of journaling, making sure you're expressing your emotions and, and you know, really speaking your truth. So if that all vibes with you, make sure you're following me at True Beauty Movement, T-R-U without the E-Beauty Movement. Um, I have an amazing guest here today. So you guys, this is Stacy Rasky, and she is incredible. We actually just filmed another video. So this is our second video today. Yeah. Yeah, so we're like, we're, we're chilling, we're relaxed. We're sweaty. <laughs> we're sweaty, we're in Florida, <laughs> right? You guys know I live in Florida and I love it, but we've been out here for a while now. <laughs> yeah. And um, we, we actually had an amazing interview. I'm gonna get the last interview that we did on her phone um, up on my YouTube channel, my IGTV. So you guys gotta check it out because it's kind of like the step one or the, you know, I would say the phase one, step one to this video. This is now step two. Um, in the last video, just kind of in a nutshell, um, what she did is she actually was interviewing me. So Stacy was interviewing me. Um, we talked about her book a little bit, which I'm gonna introduce here in a second. And she talked about how me as a girl boss, as an entrepreneur, how I've gone through my journey and how I've kind of come from having all these different passions, working for corporate America, all this stuff, to being a girl boss and having my own business. And, um, living with passion, right? Working with passion, um, manifesting and attracting abundance, doing what I love every day as a blogger and as a YouTuber and as an influencer. And it was, it was really fun to share that journey and help you guys with some of my tips. And now we're kind of, tables are turned, <laughs> right? Switching gears. We're switching gears. And now it's like phase two, like, well, in case days, I already have some of these things figured out. So again, watch another video. Um, but you know, here's where I'm still struggling in manifesting my best life when it comes to my career. Not really so much personal, I kind of feel like I got that figured out. Uh, you know, knock on wood a million times, wherever, wherever wood is. There's <laughs> I don't a think book. there's anyone here. You guys, if you know, I knock on wood, I do this. It's a long story. I'll tell you another, in another video. But if you ever see me do this, it's not like a boob thing. It's, it's a whole long thing. Uh, I, people are always like, what are you doing? I'm like, don't worry about it. Just watch me manifest it later and you'll, you'll understand. Um, Knock it so, on hard energy. Yeah. I'm like, it's like, exactly. Girl, you get it. So your, your heart chakra, there's all these things that are releasing, manifesting. Um, so, so for me, I have my own blocks that I've had to move through. I'm very proud of what I've moved through and manifesting and creating abundance in my life, but I'm still going through different blocks. Um, one of those is that I've done recently in probably the last year is, is understanding that I truly am worthy, right? And I am worthy of abundance. Um, a big mantra that I've been playing with that I've just really enjoyed, it's on my desk, you guys have seen this on my Instagram stories, um, is, you know, it is safe for me to play big and understanding that I really have what it takes to make it in this industry as a major player, in the blo as a blogger, as an influencer, as a YouTuber, and sharing my passions and my content and connecting with you guys in an authentic way and that we're all good enough for it and you are too in your own passions. 
So I'm really proud of that, but I still struggle with some things, and that's where I want to pick her brain a little bit, okay, on how to take things to the next level. So Stace, before we jump in, can you just tell us a little bit about, you know, who you are, mm -hmm. your background, and just kind of like, you know, the name of your book, kind of, yeah, I think just kind of basic intro is perfect. Awesome. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm just, thank you for having me, too. Yes. I'm so excited we got awesome. to do this. It's so amazing. Me, too. So, me too. Uh, I'm Stacey Rasky. Uh, I'm known as the empowered overthinker and the biker business coach because I'm a badass biker chick. I love that. You know? Where's the picture? Uh, She's wearing like a leather jacket on the back and she looks awesome. Her red lipstick. Thank love it. Thank you. True I beauty. thought about it for today, but I, I love like, it. It's so hot. True, okay. beauty, true beauty in and out, right? We look yeah. good. We feel good. We're confident. I love it. <laughs> Actually, if you open the book, there's a couple pictures uh -huh. of me on my bike. You guys have seen them. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. Yes. So, um, awesome. I am a best-selling author. Mm -hmm. I'm a speaker and I am a business success and a abundance coach for high achieving female entrepreneurs struggling with self-doubt and sabotage, build confidence, and grow their businesses with ease and authenticity. So really that does come down to that believing that we're good enough yes. to be successful. Yes. Good enough, worthy, deserving, yeah. all of that stuff because so often high achievers, we've always been functioning in the space of this external validation. It's always been the success, the achievement, the accolades, the labels, the credentials, whatever that looks like. But it was always external conditions in order to feel like we're good enough. Yes. And if we don't get what we're looking for, it's so easy. And so that's why we struggle with so much self-doubt and so much sabotage. Mm -hmm. And taking things to the next level, right? Fear. Yes, and a fear. lot of that comes oh through safety. Oh my God, I've dealt with that. Fear, oh my right? Gosh. Oh my yeah, it's so silly. It's like fear that we just kind of make it, and we make it up in our head. We make it so much worse than it really is. But there's always a, there's always a root. Mm -hmm. And and that's the thing yes. is, is in, and that's what I get on in uh, my book, which is called Be a Boss and Fire That Bitch. I love the name. I love the title. Because you swear like me. <laughs> I, mean, I, I, I first on Instagram and all that, I'm like, oh my gosh, should I like not swear? And then it's like quite being authentic. Like I'm not like a sailor, but I definitely swear. Like my husband, I swear. So I'm like, yes, I love it. You know, fire oh, that yeah. bitch. We were just talking about the beautiful bitch syndrome, which I swear exactly. I'm gonna copyright that on our last video. Watch it. Yes. Well, and I'm an Iraq War veteran. Uh, yes. So of course, it's amazing. You know, just being in the army and such I'm a like... true beauty. Look at her, you guys. Gorgeous. And then she's this army vet veteran. I mean, yeah, it's amazing. Veteran, badass yes. biker. Oh my god. Like inner and outer beauty, right? Physical. <laughs> Mental, social, spiritual, emotional. I mean, you can tell when you meet these fellow true beauties in our tribe because it's like, I feel like they've got it all, and but we're all so real about what we're still working on and we live with such passion. And that's the difference to me. And sometimes we talked about this in the last video, you meet someone who maybe doesn't have that, it doesn't mean they're not a true beauty. They are a true beauty. They're just maybe a little more lost or they're just maybe they've had different things, parenting, things they've gone through, whatever, they try to fit in or what they think is the cool thing to do in society. And it's so deeply ingrained from middle school, high school, even earlier, that they're, we're helping everyone find their way. So some people are further along than others and it's not a race, right? Yep. It's, it's all within yourself and it's about you know when you're living your best life and you're living your most authentic life and you know when you're not, right? And you can tell because your, your happiness and your joy is your compass, right? So we're gonna help you to find more joy in that. So I want to um, first tell them, but we'll, we'll kind of circle back at the end on where they can find you and all that, but yeah. the, the book and everything, can they get this on your website? Is that right? Yeah, that, okay. well, it's actually, it's available on Amazon. Awesome. Um, or you can go to firethatbitchbook.com. Cool. I'm going to add this to my Amazon e-store. No, I have an Amazon e-store, you guys. You guys Yay, know that. Thanks. It's on my blog. Yeah, I will totally add this. Absolutely. Yeah, you just get it on um, Amazon. Um, if you do go to my cool. website, I'm sure, yeah, we'll have all the links and everything um, that That's you fun. can go navigate to it either way. I love so. you to the Amazon Prime, baby. It just yeah. makes it easier so, for everybody. Oh, and now if you get the... Um, paperback you can actually get the kindle for free cool yeah. oh that's awesome digital okay so i want to jump in just because i know people are going to be eager so we talked a little bit about some of the bullet points so the book really talks about because we talked about two phases before we started this and again this is very spontaneous we did not overly prepare i want to be really real and authentic of both what i've kind of already learned as a girl boss and the success i've built um, which of her book focused a lot on and also what I still struggle with, right? And she can help with all of that. So as I'm learning, you know, you guys are learning too. I don't have it all figured out, even though I'm pretty far along with this. And I want you guys to learn too. We're all in this together, right? And you kind of see where you, where you fit in here. So, and you may not want to own your own business. It doesn't mean this isn't going to help you to live your most authentic life and be a girl boss just in your life, right? Yeah. And owning it and having that self-confidence. 
So um, just give me kind of a, a brief overview of like what are the bullet points? I know you said there's 13 chapters, but like what would you say are the bullet points of what is so important when someone's defining this authentic life and you know fighting the inner critic and believing you're good enough? What's the key? Where does someone where start? So I think the biggest thing is just understanding that we all have this voice in our head mm -hmm. that's constantly undermining everything that we want to do. We have these amazing dreams. We've got goals. We've got things we want to manifest mm -hmm. in our lives, in our businesses, whatever that is for you. Mm -hmm. And then there's always that voice of doubt, that voice that's like, oh, you can't have that. Who are you to do that? Or it looks like worrying about what other people will think. Mm -hmm. Or it's right. fear of being visible. Or it's fear of failure, or fear of success. And all in all. I've dealt with all of those. Yeah, me too. <laughs> me too. And that's the thing is, is this is, I have so many personal stories, both uh, like really personal stories. I share my rock bottom moment in there. I share business related stories to put it into context and give you a framework of what this looks like when we have issues with not allowing ourselves mm -hmm. to fully embody our our truth to right. really live your purpose to live your best life to be authentic because high achievers again when we're looking at success we so often feel like imposters mm -hmm. we feel inauthentic because we're always having this very you know perfectionist kind of control freak version mm -hmm. of ourselves it's a very curated version of ourselves that we present out of fear of rejection mm -hmm. And, you know, that gets in the way of showing up. And a that lot of us, because we talked about this on the last video, I don't want to interrupt you, but a lot of us, whether you are a girl boss with an actual business, whether you just have an idea that something you want to do, it's on the back burner while you're in the meantime working at a different job trying to pay the bills, or whether you're like, I have no interest in owning a business, but you're kind of like, you don't feel like you're living your most authentic life, or you feel like there's some improvement personally, or you just want to increase your self-confidence. I think is is a lot of us share those qualities of we're, we're multifaceted, we have a lot of passions, we're doing a lot, we're spread thin, and, and I think that sometimes it's like you have to take that step back to really reflect on who you are truly, what you want in your life, and that's why I talk a lot about vision boards on the True Beauty Movement, and then moving forward with that confidence and that rush of energy and um, you know spontaneity and other things, right? But I, I love that you, you help people to kind of define that a little bit more. And, and kind of yeah, what you say? Oh no, I was in, a, a lot of it too. Is is those are those shoulds? Mm -hmm. You know those things that we think we should be doing. Yeah. Again, basing it off external conditions, external factors, variables. You know what other people um, think or what other people tell you, yeah. or you know. You were saying earlier, like, you know, the gurus that are like, oh, you should do, you're amazing on camera, you should be oh, on yeah. camera you more. Oh, yeah, you should YouTube more, yeah, exactly. But you're like, but I want to write, heart, yeah. Like, my heart and soul is about writing, yeah. and, and it's very easy for us to buy into those shoulds or get very overwhelmed mm -hmm. and, and disconnect from the truth of who we are. And actually, at the root of all of these, these challenges we experience is this relationship with ourselves, where there are still some disconnect because of trauma, limiting beliefs, challenges, fears, just mm. things that continue to get in the way. And it's so interesting when you shift into that place of really owning you. Yes. And yet it's scary as hell. Right. To but go it's, inward. Isn't it, it's such a great feeling though. It is. And I will <laughs> tell you, you guys, I truly, and this is, I mean, true story. I couldn't be more real. And when I say this, I can tell, I can feel it in my life professionally and the uh, opportunities I'm attracting, the abundance I'm attracting, this right here, I can feel it. My husband and I just went out to a birthday party this weekend and I met, I didn't know one person besides my husband, it was his old friend from 15 years ago and all the wives are there and I can feel it in my presence personally. There is this confidence that I have in my life that I've never had before. I've always been very confident. I've actually had people tell me, you're so confident, but I don't want to say it was a front because that's not true. I've always been confident in my vision, my truth. But there's been this people pleaser layer to it. Yeah. And so there's always, never, never, and I can truly say that, there's never been a fake confidence that was like a front. It was a core confidence that believed in myself, but there was this people pleaser that was tripping me up, tripping me up, tripping me up, being too nice. And I'm now, by no means am I saying I'm more of a bitch, <laughs> but I think in some ways you could, uh, you could I, I'm a little, I'm just a strong, I have a stronger backbone. I'm stronger in who I am, what I want, where I'm going, and I'm not willing to compromise whether that means to people in my life personally, professionally. I'm, I have, I've created a lot of clarity, and we talked about in the last video that you guys should definitely watch. I, I talked about the power of, um, uh, she was asking me about, you know, 
how you do all these different things and yet you're making progress with forward motion. I said, well, clarity come, with clarity, excuse me, with clarity comes confidence. And I think that with that clarity, you, you build that and it's the best feeling. So it is a lot of work and as you, as you read her book and as you go through this and possibly even work, you know, with Stacey if you choose to do that, it would be wonderful, you know, it, it's, it's amazing because yes, there's some work involved, but I will tell you, it's so simple. And, and, you know, it's, it's amazing. I got to just say this because I know you're going to speak to you. I heard this Kid Rock interview. Kid Rock. Like, this was like maybe a year or two ago. And I heard him on the radio. And he was talking about something and da 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 on his way to being famous. And I'm not even a big Kid Rock fan. I like a couple of his big kids. <laughs> but I'm like, okay, whatever. Yeah. But he had this very interesting, it was a podcast or something on the radio. And I'm listening to him. And I'm like, okay, it's so interesting. He so has that boss mentality. It's so interesting behind the scenes. We all have it. It's that it factor. And he said, well, I remember being at the studio and recording this and that, and they kept saying like, you're so close, you've got it, but there's something not right. And then he's re-recording, he's doing this and that. And finally he like takes off his jacket, whatever, however he defined it, right? And all of a sudden he just is like totally just him, like let it all out, he's just completely himself, like maybe the awkwardness, maybe the, the you know, all the, all the things we don't wanna be, right? You don't wanna stand out and be like too different or whatever. And he just let it all out there. And all of a sudden they're like, oh my God, like that, that, that was perfect. And he's like, you mean like just being me? He's like, if I would have known that, I would have been famous years ago. And that's what it is. <laughs> it's like, it's like just be you, you know? And it's such a simple overused term, but that's what she's helping you to define. And what my blog's all about is helping you to define that what makes you unique and your flow state and all these things, that's your magic. And anything else is just a shield, right? Well, and, and the biggest block uh -huh. actually most people have is expectations. Yes. This is the biggest control issue that we have and, and us control freaks and perfectionists are great at it. Yep. <laughs> um, but keep in mind expectation is just trying to control things in your head. Mm -hmm. But if you flip that to a positive experience, expectations are where desire and belief come together. And the reason we don't get our expectations is because our desire, what we want to manifest, our mm -hmm. dreams are up here, but the belief is, oh, but I'm not worthy or deserving I or good enough that. to yes. have it. Yes. And so by doing this work, the stuff that's in my book, mm -hmm. the stuff that I help my clients do is bringing the belief system through boundaries, no yep. more people pleasing, yep. and a lot of these other elements put you in that place of not only getting the desire and belief aligned, but actually being open to receive. Yes. That is the biggest block for high achievers is we will lean in, it can be easy, we'll get to that place. We actually manifest the smaller goals, the smaller successes, and then we sabotage the shit out of ourselves because we're like, but wait, wait, wait. Yeah. Again, the belief is yeah. not there. And that's what I call the, the belief isn't strong enough, guys. We need to work, and I love yeah. that because with, something I talk about a lot with manifesting, and I, I actually see myself writing a book or, or touching more on this with you guys. It's been very clear in my meditations. Is so many of you guys have come to me being like, teach me manifesting, teach me how you manifest everything in your life. So I know that that is a huge part of the true beauty movement. I've heard you guys when you guys have um, you know DM'd me and asked me about this. So I'm very clear on that. But belief is huge, yeah. huge. If you don't believe you are worthy, if I wouldn't, if I was. You know, back when I lived in Utah, when I grew up in Park City, Utah, and I went to Westminster College and I was living there, and if I didn't believe in my heart of hearts that I was worthy and that I, I saw on my vision board that those white sandy beaches and the tall grass and my soulmate and my family and owning my own business, if I didn't really believe that, there's no way I could have manifested all this into my life that you see on the Instagram, oh, yeah. you know, and on the feed and all that. That is my reality, and I'm so proud of that. I've, I've grown so much, and if it wasn't in my belief, it's all just, it's just all up here. Yeah. It's not in your desire. It's not in your heart. And that goes back to the heart chakra and all that. It's and, all connected. Well, and, you know? and I mean, the thing is, is allowing it to be easy. Too, yes. You yes. Know, that it can happen quickly. I mean, basically, yes. I threw up on my vision board, best-selling author. Mm -hmm. in, I hope you didn't throw up on your vision board. <laughs> like, I threw up on my like, so Threw up the yeah. best-selling <laughs> author. No, I put, I uh, put, put uh, best-selling author on my vision board in February, uh, and I took it off in July. Oh, interesting. Yeah. Wow. Wow. Like, I mean, come on. Yeah. Like that. But I love that. But the wow. speed at which manifestation what, March, happens. April, May, June, July. So five, five months, months. Five months. Five Very months nice. from the time that I started. And literally, I had the vision for it in October. Mm -hmm. got this, uh -huh. this is what's great about live videos. And we're going right? to be real. We've got, yeah. we've got lawnmowers yeah, happening. Right. We got I'm loving wind. the fountain. The fountain's <laughs> like my zen. I love it. So I'm wearing fun. peppermint oil right now. You guys are like, oh. Um, so good. But I love, okay, that's amazing. And that there's no time, because we all put these things, oh, it's going to take so long. No, and that's that, the I thing. I love that. Because we're not open to receive. Uh -huh. We are the biggest blockers to 
to our own success yes. because we're missing some of these found the key foundation pieces mm -hmm. still some of this wounded you know it might be wounded masculine energy it might be rejecting feminine energy so we stay in toxic hustle yes um, you know again still being conditional on these external conditions you know that we worry about all these other things rather than just connecting to our truth yes can you really quick do you know where those pages are I close the book so it's my bad oh it's no, fine I was gonna say we might want to check yeah see, yeah see with yeah, the, the mower right, right here, here. Just with the mower. I want to see where those those uh, the pages or that. Heard again. Yay, we're recording. Awesome. That way you don't have to Yeah, yeah, that's great. Just piece, piece them together. Oh yeah. Piece them together. Well, well that's I just popped it, so it's the same video. Oh, oh, it's the same video. Yeah. Oh, excellent. Perfect. Now that we're getting some. Yeah, exactly. There you go. All right, guys. So we're seeing the sun's coming in here. So if she's like has glowing pants, just because she's like right. glowing energy right now, right? Um, with my shoes. By the way, we didn't even plan our outfits. No, we're wearing we're black and white, right? <laughs> That's awesome. Blonde hair. I know. Peachy, that is so funny. Vibe. Yes, I love it. I know. I was. What happens with Florida? I have just been in this like black leggings, and these actually have UPF 50, and it's like black, like or I have all these maternity things, but like this is just so easy. If it's raining, you can wear it with boots. Throw on a jacket. You guys see all this on my Instagram. It's like shoes easy, right? Easy right. but cheap. Um, okay, so I do want to touch on this. So when she's talking about this, you guys, and knowing yourself and aligning yourself with abundance and working on the belief, that's like the key there. Um, she has some bullet points here. It's on page 49. So if you buy the book or when you buy the book, rather, um, you know, or the Kindle version, page 49 is what I'm referring to. It says align abundance process is to number one, anchor your routines. Okay. Release your baggage is number two. Number three is respect your boundaries. Number four is be open to receive. This is really big with the belief. Yeah. Um, be open to actually receiving. And number five would be um, raise your standards, okay? So um, I wanna touch on this. I will tell you by no means that I have it all figured out, but we talked a little bit before we started recording and I was like, God, you know, I feel like this is a lot of the work I've done. Mm -hmm. And I'm really proud of this. I feel like this is why I'm manifesting such abundance. And sometimes I still struggle with some, kind of the next phase, right? Integrating um, it into business. Yes, exactly. Yeah. There's some of the other hangups and some of the, um, I love your title, the be a boss and fire that bitch, right? And then quiet the inner critic and finally believe you are good enough. So sometimes we still need for, like you said before, something that maybe there's still a hang up in there. So let's just briefly touch on, so anchor your routines. Doing consistent daily actions to show up for you, build a connection to you, and be your best um, to get to get your goals. So is that kind of like? Because I always think of like your morning wellness routine. Right? Yeah, no, absolutely. Okay. You know whether you're talking about. Um, but you guys know I'm huge into morning yeah. wellness routine, right? Like nourishing yourself. I do uh, actually an AM and PM routine. That was the first Same. mentor that cool. I had. It actually taught me that. So you know you're bookending your day with a routine that's really focused on you. Yeah. That's the biggest thing is so many people think about the routine like, yeah, I get up, get the kids ready, feed the dog, do all the things. Check email, check Insta. No, yeah, no, no. no. <laughs> We're, I'm talking about some dedicated time focused on building the connection and relationship with you. So whether that's meditation, journaling, gratitude, yes. whatever that is for you. And most importantly for us high achievers, celebrating your biggest success from the day every day. I love that. Is that Seriously. the end of the day? Like end the end. of the day. So how what are you celebrating my, that? Like, are you journaling I have, I have a success tracker. And cool. in fact, I offer cool. resources with the book. You can get the success tracker. You can get cool. the AM, PM track, tracker. You can get my favorite release technique. Awesome. You can get some amazing resources because I'm all about action, but we get into alignment. First. Okay, awesome. First. I love that. And you guys, you guys know besides obviously the physical, <laughs> mental, social, spiritual, emotional, besides the, um, I love this, that's so huge. Besides that and besides manifesting, I mean, that's huge. I'm yeah. all about that. And here's the thing, we talked about this in the last video, just because we're sh sharing this and preaching it, yes, we've learned so much and that's why we've man manifested the abundance in our life that we have, right? So we kind of know something, we know a thing or two, yeah. but at the same time, I also teach this because it's a personal struggle. I have a three-year-old daughter. I'm um, uh, pregnant, six months pregnant with my, you know, second daughter, and it is hard work. I'm actually a night owl, not a morning person. So <laughs> to create those routines, I'm on it sometimes, and I'm like confident wearing my sunglasses in my car. I'm like, I've been so amazing today. I've been up since five or six, and I've done my, you know, my physical, mental, social, spiritual, emotional. I feel amazing. I feel like I could conquer the world. And there's times where I'm like on myself, and I'm like, man, I am like sleeping in until seven, seven thirty. Melissa, my daughter's up jump into the day and I feel like I can't I can't catch my breath and the highest achievers out there if you follow anyone who's a high achiever in their personal life or, or business life they have strong morning wellness routines and strong evening routines to nourish themselves so that is awesome I love kudos to you love that 
Um, so we leave. Yeah. It was like loud. <laughs> we loud. <laughs> I mean, I, mean, I know the they're like. Behind the clouds. I know. Like, oh. Stay behind the clouds. I know. Just for you. Oh, it does. Because okay. I mean, they breeze. turn really quick, so it's obviously they're coming. Back. Yeah. They're doing okay. their little like layers. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. So then, release your baggage. So releasing the thoughts, emotions, and bullshit stories. I love that. <laughs> that keep us reactive and letting go of things that are not within our control. That's awesome. So can you just elaborate briefly on that? Yeah. Um. So there's something about high achievers that is so amazing. Is most of us are in empaths yes. at the same time so we are taking on so much emotion and at the same time we are not letting stuff go and I call it emotionally constipated <laughs> we're so backed up oh, all the stuff because we're because there's stuff to doing like yes. we're doing 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 and so we're not always giving ourselves permission to feel or just the time and space mm. to feel so we get backed up. Or and you're not releasing, yes, right? We're not releasing. I've had clients, by the way, because the body's all symbolic here, who they have to take literally stool softeners and they're or I'm, I'm telling them, hey, take the doTERRA digest send to help you with your IBS or some of their things. I know bloggers who have like indigestion issues, all that, because they're hanging on to stuff. I will yeah. tell you, I'm actually very grateful I don't deal with that. Yeah. <laughs> I do a, I do release things. I'm also a cancer, I'm very emotional, so I do I release things I have great people in my life like my husband and best friends but if you don't have that or you don't have that release and you're hanging on to it you're going to physically hang on to it and feel discomfort and and, and energetically areas. emotionally hang on to it how and interesting so, that yeah, makes sense we need, love it but yeah literally just emotionally backed up so you know we're very reactive you know something small and we snap at the kids we snap at our partner you know we just lose our shit have a right. manifestation meltdown or there's no center yeah that no. is very interesting yeah. I, I truly that i know i've worked with clients on that um, I think the anchor routines is something that I'm constantly amazing at and then struggle with. Amazing. Yes. So I will tell you, I think release your bags I'm pretty damn good at, but I, by no means is it perfect, but that's <laughs> interesting. Respect your boundaries. Take the responsibility for yourself and what you want to create as well as creating safety and stability from within. Can you elaborate? Yes. Right? Yeah. So I, boundaries is such a, a funny thing. It's one of those things that's hard for people to wrap their minds around. Uh -huh. And so I always say the simplest explanation is boundaries are about responsibility. Okay what you are responsible for and what you are not responsible for. Mm, I like that. You are only responsible for what is within your control, which is you, yeah. and that is all. Yeah. High achievers, overachievers, we're trying to take on responsibility for everyone, everything. Again, we feel all the feels, so now we're taking on the burdens, and it creates a lot of boundary issues. Boundaries are 100% taught, so guess what? Most of the time, they're pretty dysfunctional. Because <laughs> they're taught from family, family or whatever. Family of oh. origin, yes. Wow, that, so, that's interesting. Super jacked Love. up. And so the dynamics of boundaries is that we're constantly taking on things that are not ours, and at the same time, chronically giving our power away. As wow. I mentioned, when we're being conditional with our achievement and our success, mm -hmm. we're giving our power away to these external conditions. Wow, that I mean, that's like... That's a mixture of a mind blow mixed with something. I, I will tell you, being vulnerable and real as I always am with you guys, in all my interviews and all my blog posts, you guys know me, uh, that is something I have truly moved through in the last couple of months. Uh -huh. Again, I could say year, because it's been a, I mean, it's been like a life thing, but things with family, um, things with friends, um, you know, uh, speaking my truth, communicating what I actually have time for for people when they want to do a two hour phone call, and I'm like, I don't have time for that. And, and it's interesting how you also set off people's triggers when you start to stand up for yourself and they'll kind of go off of you. And I'm talking family and friends um, because all of a sudden they're like, oh, because they're used to you being the people pleaser. The yes man. And the yes man. <laughs> and when I started standing up for myself, not only did I get more respect, I also had more time for myself and my business and my family, the things I really wanted to do. Not that I don't want to help people, but it's very important. So that, that's huge. Well, that and, is huge. And that's the awesome. key thing too, and I, I put this in my book and I talk about this all the, all the time, Got some moments over here. Got some moments. We'll wait a second. We'll wait a second. We just want to be a part of it. Yeah, right. <laughs> you know, he's going to come like right here. We're like, yeah, right. we're, like, we're almost we'll done, buddy. Like, we're almost yeah. done. Seriously. <laughs> that is so funny. Oh, man. Uh, I'm wondering, I wonder how much it's like picking up on that. Cause it's like, and of course, like my throat's like kind of sore right now. So it's like, I know. <laughs> Be like, oh, dear, <laughs> so the most important aspect to boundaries is we always talk about them with regard to dealing with other people, but boundaries at the core are a hundred percent about your relationship with yourself. We can never say, Hey, I'm really no 
no disrespect from others when we disrespect ourselves and our head. Hence the foundation of this cool. book. Yes. This is about your relationship with you because every one of your relationships, whether it be with time, money, partners, children, parents, anyone, mm. is a mirror reflection of your relationship with yourself. And your belief. This is like the key thing is your belief within yourself. That is yes. so true. You can take a little seminar. You can watch this video and be like, I'm going to stand up and say this. At the end of the day, if you don't fully believe that, if you can't look someone in the eye and actually be real about it and be real in communicating that boundary. And I, one of my New Year's resolutions, uh, this is a few years back when we first moved here, I was dealing with a relationship issue with um, some other people, like I, uh, some um, more mature women in my in my life. Well, we'll just leave it at that. Yeah. And um, and so I had to really communicate boundaries when my when my husband and I first got married and all these different things. And um, I had to really have this this New Year's resolution that I practice every day. This mantra of you know it's okay to have uncomfortable you know or or what was it? It was like. It's okay to have a clear, honest communication, even if it's uncomfortable sometimes. And, that and was most huge. Of the time it is. <laughs> yes, it is. It's like it's all right. You're being real. You're being authentic. And you'd much rather that than be a people pleaser, fake who's just drained, right? So that's important. So before um, we go to the next yeah. one, let's move this couch back just a smidge. Yep, good idea. And, and you're sitting and, so sunny. And, I was say, and your time was yeah. close on time. Okay. So oh, we're going to What time is it right now? 3.15. Okay, so let's do this. Let's really quick, let's go into um, open to be open to receive, um, raise your standards, and we can say for more of that, you know, make sure to go to the book and then talk about just briefly, yeah. um, you know, let's talk about the... Um, well, and we can always, and this is, we can always do the business as the second one and do it as a Zoom and the, too. Oh, that's true, that's true you know? too. I mean, and not, we can also touch on just a briefly, like, I just think that... Um, because keep in mind, most of my followers, this is going to be what they're going to want. Because yeah. not all of them are necessarily seeking it out to be business. That's true. You know what I mean? Yeah, whatever. Um, whatever works. Totally fine. Yeah, but I like that. We could always do the Zoom thing where it's like a third, a three-part series. Oh, kind of thing. whatever. Yeah. Um, all of the three I'm open to either, either one. Okay. So we'll touch on it. All right, guys. So we have a little a mower here in the background. So we're hoping it's not gonna like. Oh, it, we're keep like being like, all right, should we from the side. Yeah, we just move the, the the couch back a little bit so that her pants aren't going too much. But at the same time, you know, be spontaneous, be real, be authentic, right? But we also want to do quality content for you guys. So we're gonna briefly touch on the last two. So the last two is be open to receive and then raise your standards. So be open to receive. So finally giving yourself permission to be successful and allowing all the abundance in that um, in that you're currently working too hard to create the track. So just kind of elaborate briefly on that for me. Being open to receive. This is the belief. Yes. Uh -huh. So actually it's walls. Okay. Oh, yeah. interesting. So the walls, this yes. is, this is, those yes. beliefs are what fuel the wall. That's like the root, but if, yes. you, if you have, then you have walls up. So if you have that strong belief in those walls, you fall yes. down. Yes, exactly. Yes. But you got to have the boundaries in place first. So yes. there's a thoughtful, thoughtful yes. path here. It's like chronological. It's building upon itself. Yeah. Mm. So once you get those energetic boundaries in place, you have this layer of protection and safety. So you can now begin to dismantle the wall. Mm -hmm. And we have walls because we've experienced pain. We've experienced trauma. We've experienced all of rejection. We've mm -hmm. experienced hurts in our lives. And so our coping ends up being when we don't have healthy boundaries is to create walls. And these walls not only block the hurt from coming in, but they block the good from coming in. And they also block you, the real you, the authentic you from getting out. And the walls are also what make a lot of that curated image of ourselves, the mask that we wear and why we feel so uh, like an imposter or feel inauthentic or, you know, being who I think I should be. And we talked about, um, we talked kind of on the back end about imposter syndrome, which is a whole other thing. I'll touch on that on my blog for sure. So yeah. make sure you're following me and I'm sure she will talk more about this. Um, but imposter syndrome, and in a nutshell, if you don't know what that is, you've never heard of it, because I, I heard of it from um, a YouTuber named Brendan, brendan.com, um, which is the first time I ever heard of it. Yeah. And it's where you feel like, you're, oh, I'm not good enough for this, because I feel like I'm an imposter. I don't feel, oh, I don't have all the credentials. So Who you am I? Fear, fear, fear. You're putting off what you want to do. Oh, I got to get the right certifications. Yes, of course, want to make sure if you are teaching something that you do have the right certifications for safety and for knowledge, of course, right? But there's a point where people just excuse, excuse, excuse. To be an influencer, you don't need to have any certifications, but God knows, I was like, I need to get certified in yoga. I need to do this. I need to do that. I, before I could do it, I had like, I had all these excuses. And in the long run, yes, it made me stronger and more knowledgeable, and I'm proud of that. But what 
was it necessary or are there people out there with a million followers that have half the talent I have that are killing it because they just went for it? And that's what she's talking about, right? It's about really believing yourself going after it and not having all these excuses before you give yourself permission to go, well, right? And, and it's also, too, that if you do take action and get the success, mm -hmm. that, again, we feel like we're the mistake. There's actually a shame in that and that some of this imposter syndrome that even though we get these things it's like yeah but now I'm gonna wither and hide and sabotage myself from any more forward momentum because it's too much interesting it's too much it's pushing those upper limits on what I believe I'm worthy and deserving of I, I had it happen to me actually with with my best-selling book I mean becoming bestseller and having it happen so fast plus what I went through to just get the book out and then get launch day on launch day yeah First time I checked bestseller, I'm like, oh, you're like, wait, okay. what? Yeah. Well, that was easy. Yeah, you're like, that's awesome. But and huh? then it triggered. Am I worthy? So much like, yes. stuff. Yeah, it was so huge. It mm. triggered so much stuff. So then I pulled back a little bit, and I'm like, you know, but I have the toolkit to say, okay, leaning into it and understand what's yes. going on. Yes. How but, interesting. But every, I love that. Okay. Every new Makes up sense. level is still going to trigger the same old stories and the same old patterns and beliefs and blocks. No matter how many times we work through it, every time we up level, because now we're going to deeper layers of the onion. So how do you make sure that doesn't happen? You just have to keep working on these five things? It's always a process. Okay. Yes. We so you go can. back and you're like, is my wellness routine being as strong as it is? Yes. So you have to kind of go back. Am I, am I releasing my baggage? Yes. Am I respecting my boundaries? Where am I not? Exactly. Am I being open to receiving? Am I raising my standards? So you're saying you have to maintain you're this. You're going through the cycle. Every and how funny, she level. has five, by the way. So with me, how you know how with my brand, it's physical, mental, social, spiritual, emotional, five. There's a power of five in numerology thing going on here. She has those Brand five. Number. I love that. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> there you go. That's interesting. Our us overachievers, we think right? similar. But that's very interesting. So you're saying it's maintenance, it's constantly balanced. Yes. You're never you've never arrived. No, right? no, because every up level, you know, and just like the last step, raise your standards, yes, right? right? Like it's literally it's number five. What what do you need to create additional order in? What do you need to change your elevate your tribe, change your mm -hmm. habits, yes. ask for help. Yes. Right? Like again, we're so hesitant to ask for help. We think we need to do everything on your on our own. And you don't. You don't know everything. And the fastest track I've ever had was investing in mentors, coaches. Absolutely. Help. You know, trainers. Yes. You it's know, so interesting you're saying that. So this says raise your standards, upgrading and elevating um, how you show up, what to use, and how you surround yourself with, um, and, oh, excuse me, and who you surround yourself with to consistently be your best. Interestingly enough, I'm going, I literally was just interviewing a virtual assistant yesterday. I hired a web designer. I originally hired a web designer in 2013, but I just, um, I just launched a blog redesign. It's kind of like a facelift of what I already had. It's beautiful. I was very proud of my blog, but it needed a little upgrade, a little bit of a facelift since 2013. Up level. Yeah. An up level. I hired out because I was like, I am abundance, you know, mentality. I attract abundance. I always, and I'm on that path. So I hired out a web designer, hired out a designer to redesign my logo and just give it a little facelift. And then I'm literally talking to this virtual assistant. And then Fiverr is a great source. Yep. But I'm doing exactly kind of intuitively through yep. my own journey. But the point is, why go through my journey that's taken, you know, since I was like 16 to 34 now, um, even though I'm very proud of what I've achieved, when you can kind of work on this and maybe maybe expedite the process, right? So let's briefly jump on the next steps because I do feel like while you said everyone, as you go through this, you're constantly maintaining it, or sometimes you might think you've moved past something, um, and uh, you still need to do some work on it. So I think that's very interesting. You don't want to blow this off once you feel like you're done with it, because you're still working on it, maintaining it. I think that's important. So this book is so valuable, and these points are so valuable. But what about the next step? Like, if I feel like I'm pretty strong in these areas, but I am kind of, because I really found for me, there's so much power in the power of spontaneity, just jumping in, being consistent. But what would you say, just, like, just briefly, like that next step of you're finding your block in yourself? Because sometimes I, I find that in my own business. Yeah. You know? So that's why uh, then I have, beyond this, I have that Empowered Overthinker Method. Uh -huh. so it is. Uh -huh. The Empowered Overthinker Method is literally when you recognize you're stuck, mm -hmm. that you can quickly get unstuck because it takes you through a process of getting into alignment. Uh, basically, it's awareness, ownership, alignment, and then action. So awareness? Awareness. 
okay. know, where are you stuck, what are you doing, blah, 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 you know, around this stuck point. Uh -huh. So, and that's usually where we catch ourselves. Uh -huh. so all of a sudden we're like, oh, okay, I'm having fun. Yep. Oh, I feel this way again. For me, it's the busy work, guys. So I won't create, I'll, I won't do Distraction. content. I won't yeah. do content creation. So I'm like, <laughs> oh, because I have to get back to these people through email. I have to like do my blog redesign. Oh, I, so I, I get stuck in the operations. So I'm like, well, I'm a girl boss. I'm a one man show. And it's like, these are, yes, that's true. But what, where can I outsource, right? Yes. Where can I outsource and maybe do it in a cheaper way like Fiverr? Um, where can I, rather than doing all these tasks, why, where can I focus more on content creation and have these other things? Instead, I get boggled down and that's probably a little bit of fear, right? Yeah. So that's interesting. So, so then the that segues into the next step, uh -huh. which is ownership. And remind so, me all of them real quick. It's awareness. Awareness, ownership, ownership alignment, alignment, action. action. Okay. So you've got the awareness. So awareness. then it goes into ownership, which would be recognizing what am I really feeling? Okay. So like you said, the fear. The so fear. yeah, you know, okay. intuitively we, get, we just, it's a natural right. path and a process. Okay. Awareness, just, ownership. So ownership, you know, where do I need to take responsibility that maybe I'm avoiding responsibility? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, because sometimes we're avoiding showing yes. up. Yep. Or we're, we've For got me, some fear. I'm like, I want to post two days a week, and it's like, well, when it comes Tuesday, Thursday, so why aren't you filming or why aren't you writing? Like, well, oh, all these other things. Well, no, yeah. that's owning it. Like, yeah. this is a deadline. I'm buying the distraction. I love that. Excuses are. So this are is where almost, I struggle, people. I struggle in this phase. This one I'm pretty good at. Always this justifiable. One. <laughs> yeah, it's almost. I always teach you guys these a lot. <laughs> yeah, you know? and that's, that's why awesome. it's, it's so good. Yeah. Um, so yeah, then it's it's ownership. Or where yeah. where am I not taking responsibility? Or where am I taking too much responsibility mm -hmm. and not asking for and help. not having a healthy boundaries, yes. right? Absolutely. Exactly. With family, friends. What's after ownership then? Then it's alignment. Awareness, ownership, alignment. So, so alignment. this is about really tapping into the truth of who you are and asking yourself, what do I need? Mm. Because sometimes maybe the action that you're avoiding to get your goal is a totally aligned action but you yourself are out of alignment and need something else first. It might be as simple as needing rest or a nap, hmm. seriously. Hmm. But really tapping in with what do I need right now? And there's more questions yeah. in the book and the process. Yeah. Um, but once you get into alignment, then asking yourself, what do I need? What's my next step? And then that is the answer mm -hmm. to know then mm -hmm. what is my next step. Okay, okay. So we're taking action from a lion space uh -huh. rather than just the should yes. or the doing. Basically, yes. as I describe it, is we're balancing masculine and feminine energy. We're getting into the feminine energy of being yes. and receiving yes. first uh -huh. and releasing. That. Yes. Both, and then tapping into that to ask ourselves then what do I do, mm -hmm. which is the masculine, masculine. the doing, mm -hmm. the, the, the goal seeking, the giving yes. is also giving mm -hmm. all of us Interesting. people pleasers yep. is actually very masculine energy. Interesting. I would think so, that was feminine. That's you would actually think. very interesting. Yes, huh. but feminine energy is actually receiving. Receiving. It's, it's allowing oh. it to come to you rather How than ironic. doing yes. is giving it. So guys, ladies, and gentlemen, because we have some gentlemen following us yeah. too, which I think is awesome because I'm all about empowering beings, right? I just, my, I, my niche is women, um, but I love, I love all of you guys. But so, so true beauty movement, isn't that interesting? Sometimes we have a hard time receiving because we're the people pleasers, we're the empaths, yes. we're multifaceted, we're very talented, but we're also multi-passionate. So how interesting. We're almost refusing our feminine energy. Yes. How ironic. True beauty it's movement. It's actually a rejection. Of receiving. Yeah. Oh my gosh. It's a, it's a mind deep blow. rejection. I need my mind blow emoji. Uh, <laughs> you know? Yeah, right. Yeah. <laughs> but it is. It's a really a deep rejection uh -huh. of, of feminine energy for a variety of reasons. How yeah. interesting. That, yeah. that, and that's I will tell you. That's why we're achievers. Yeah, that's why. Because it's masculine energy. Yes. And so yes. we're all in this masculine energy of doing, doing, achieving, mm -hmm. success, athletics. Yes. You yes. Know, all that stuff. Mm -hmm. And give, give, give. And what, what, so this process that I take everyone through, take my clients through, is actually balancing your ma masculine and feminine energy mm -hmm. along with all of those next steps. Wow. So yeah, your answer of the action might be a different action from what you intended because it actually could have been you in getting into alignment, you recognize the goal or the action was a should, and then you're like, oh, wait, I don't need to do that. Maybe I was overcomplicating it, right? Right, right. Do that. 
Or maybe it's just, yeah, making sure that your knees are met first yeah. before moving forward with your goal. So, so with those, because that to me, this interests me for the foundational step, which is crucial. I think a lot of our followers are still in this. And that's why they're following me because they see, wow, you're doing A, B, and C. <laughs> and I, again, I always tell you, I don't have it all yeah. figured out, but I have enough figured out that they may be inspired and motivated by it. And that's awesome. I'm so grateful for you guys for that. And I love to teach you guys those things and pick extra brains. That's what the blog's all about, right? So, but at the same time, so the book will help with that. Following me will help with that with my tips. Following your book and following you will help with that. Yeah. That next step that I tend to struggle with, what helps with that? Is that your course? Like, well, what's that next step? Yes. There? Actually, okay. I have my Aligned Abundance Academy. Okay, awesome. And actually, we have the foundation pieces are all of this. But then, really what it's about is now taking this new foundation uh -huh. and how do you integrate this yes. into your life and especially your business. Uh-huh, yeah. You know, mm -hmm. and the ease. Mm -hmm. Because again, we really trip ourselves up when we've been used to like hustle, even toxic hustle yes. in our business. Yeah, yeah. And allowing more of that feminine energy. Uh -huh. Of the receiving. Of the receiving, yeah. So how do they, because I want to tie this up a little bit so people kind of, I want you guys to be hungry for more and you can <laughs> get her book on Amazon. I'll have all the information on my blog post and, and all of that, you know, below and all the places I can post it. Um, so check it out. Of course, go to my blog to, to really get all the details, all the links, everything you guys need. And then again, I'll be promoting on Instagram and YouTube and everywhere I can. Like crazy. Yes. Um, promoting Stacy and, and her amazingness. Um, so, so that next step, would they go to your website or is it like a Facebook page? How do they get that support for that next, that next level? So more of what might interest me in addition to the book. Yeah, you know? absolutely. I have a few uh, free Facebook groups. Mm -hmm. um, cool. And so both of those are linked to my Facebook page, which is just at Stacey.Rasky. All my socials are at Stacey.Rasky. Awesome. Both Easy. of the groups, the Empowered Overthinker Society mm -hmm. um, is really kind of for everyone. And then for those of you who are the high achieving female entrepreneur, mm -hmm. I do weekly deep dives in my Aligned Abundance Lab. Cool. And that's what everyone's invited to in the book. You're invited uh, really to both groups, mm -hmm. but you know, I love really having this intimate, high touch, high learning, mm -hmm. you know, just truth bombs like crazy in that mm -hmm. group. So the Aligned Abundance I Lab. I love that. And think about it. Talk about your tribe. We talked about that earlier. Yes, Some of the bullet points. You are, you know, uniting, right? So Stacey's a fellow true beauty. So you're uniting with my tribe. You're uniting with her tribe. We're all one tribe, right? We're all just, she's living her truth with her passion. I'm living mine. We want you guys making sure that you're living yours and your personal life and your business life. If that's what you choose to do, right? And, and that way we're growing this tribe. We're growing this movement, right? That's the vision. So thank you so much, thank Stacey. You. This is awesome. So you guys, I will have all of her information, her her links, all of that, her website, everything you guys need, her Amazon all link, deep. all the deets, <laughs> right? Make sure you're following me. Remember, it's at True Beauty Movement, and you can link to everything from my blog, which is truebeautymovement.com. That's T-R-U without the E, Beauty Movement. I love it. We talk I love how you say it. <laughs> I know. I, I, I started saying that years ago. I'm like, it just stuck. Yeah. And uh, make sure you're following you guys to really um, redefine beauty and empower you in and out so you can really manifest your best life. So until next time, be balanced, be true, and be proud to be you. And thank you again, Stacey, for just being a part of our Ask the Expert series. You guys have been asking for this. If you love the past ones, I will continue to make these. Make sure you guys send me requests and things that you guys want to learn about. And remember, that can be some of this deep stuff. It could also be... Deb, teach me how to do a non-toxic smoky eye, you know? It can oh, be I inner can and outer. Too. Yeah, I'll, I'll go crazy. Do that. <laughs> we'll do that next time. We'll See? That. The multi multifaceted. That's because true beauty yeah. we can do it all. Right? <laughs> so that's and the fun part. Absolutely remember you are enough. Yes, I love that she says that. She was saying that that's awesome. It's my we, sign off. We all <laughs> I love that. See, I have the balance of true beauty, she is that, but it's so true, you guys. You are enough. I love it. Okay, we're going to end with Stacey. Let's say it one more time. And you, you guys should repeat after her, by oh, the way. Yes. Three times. Well, here. Now, Let's you say, say instead it. of remember, you are enough, will be, I am I enough. I am enough. Because right? I am is Three a really times? strong mantra. Yes. yes. Just like my positive affirmations. Yes. All right. Okay. We'll all do it. Ready? Ready? One, two, three. I, I am enough. I am enough. I am enough. enough. Awesome. Yay! Yeah, guys. All right. Woo! See you guys soon. Bye. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching today's True Beauty Quick Tip. If you like what you see and for more confidence building tips on how to be a beauty from the inside out, remember to subscribe to our channel and connect with us at truebeautymovement.com. That's T-R-U without the E, beauty movement. Love you guys. Until next time, remember, be balanced, be true, and proud to be you.